Every so often, I like to experiment with wigs because sometimes I just don't feel like doing my hair. And I decided to go out and buy myself this crazy cosplay wig. And I'm going to show you what came inside this package. So first of all, they gave me this little deluxe wig cap, two pieces. Well, that was nice of them. I tried to get the closest match to my hair color. And yeah, it is a little bit bright, but I'm okay with this. So there's a separate little section here with two ponytails. And then here's the main part of the wig. You can see it's long, flowy, and has is curly on the bottom. And this is what the inside looks like. It's just got a cap. I don't see any combs on here, but it does have a little hook. I guess can be used to be adjustable. And then it also comes with, oh, two little ponytail clips. And I'm struggling a little bit with this, so I'm just gonna cut this net. Ah! These have little combs on them like that. All right, so I'm gonna try this wig out in front of you for the very first time. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but we'll find out together. <laughs> so let's open this little wig cap. And this wig cap looks like, like little nylon socks. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up. I'm gonna try to give myself a little French braid. I don't care if it's messy or not. It's gonna get hidden by the wig anyway. And I'm gonna use these little elastics. I love these elastics, by the way. These are the nylons that I use, and I love them because they don't get stuck in your hair. I have this like really big clip that just kind of holds everything. And now I'm gonna put my little wig cap on. I'm gonna look like a condom. And now we're ready to try on the wig. Let's try this on. Uh-huh, I think it's supposed to go like that. Wow, so this is fun and funky. It's kind of interesting. Let's see the back. Feels really soft. You definitely want to keep this part up here covered up. So it does take a little finagling to get that to work. And this is just one way to wear the wig. Let's go ahead and attach these little ponytails. They do come on this little butterfly clip and I imagine you could probably even just remove them from the clip if you don't want to use that. But for now, let's try it with the clip and see how it looks. Mm. Oh my God! This is a big wig. And I can't say that I hate it. It's it's kind of a lot. These little ponytails do feel pretty secure with this wig. And I think this would be really cute to wear at the club. I mean, well, uh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Now I want to see how it looks with just the ponytails. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair in the middle and put them in two high ponytails. I'm kind of just doing this really fast so it might not be like super neat. We're gonna see how this looks on top of my ponytails. And obviously my hair is kind of showing underneath it, but I can easily hide it just by using a curling iron and curling my hair to kind of match these ponytails. And if this really starts to bug me, I can always just take it and like wrap it around the top of the ponytail like that and just pin it in place like that. In fact, I don't mind this at all. And it does make it feel a lot more secure on my head. I think this is really cute. You guys, I just realized there's one more way that we can wear this wig. As a single ponytail. For someone with long hair like mine, it is going to take a little bit of finagling. So I just grab a piece of my own hair and wrap it around the top and pin it. Also, it helps to hide the clip a little bit too. What do we think? Not only is this three wigs in one, 
but it's actually four wigs in one. And you guys, it was like less than 25 bucks. It comes in so many different colors. I'm sure you'll find one to fit your hair color or your outfit. Which style did you like the best? Leave me a comment and let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.